Just one day after the body of 13-year-old Maddie Soto was found, the prime suspect in her disappearance was a no-show in court today. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Manny Martinez. Stefan Stearns waived his first appearance before a judge this morning. For the second time in just a span of a few days, he's now facing sexual battery and child pornography charges but has not so far yet been charged in Maddie's death. Fox 35's Matt Trezza explains why more charges could be on the way. Stephen Stearns was a no-show for his first appearance in Osceola County Court. His lawyer didn't even want the judge reading out the charges. Stephen Stearns? Or Your, Honor, Stearns? Your Honor, at this time, I am going to waive Mr. Stearns' appearance. I'm also going to waive the reading of these charges. Mr. Stearns is aware of what he's been arrested for. At the first appearance, Stearns faced charges including sexual battery and possession of material depicting sexual performance by a child. Stearns had voluntarily handed his phone to investigators who managed to recover photos and videos that they called disturbing. Investigators say he's also the prime suspect in Maddie Soto's disappearance. Search teams finally recovered Maddie's body Friday evening after an exhaustive search through the woods in Osceola County. The judge said Stearns would stay behind bars. Understood, sir. You got zero bond and 24 CF 632. Good luck to you. Orange County deputies have turned over the case to Kissimmee Police. Sheriff John Mina says they have proof Stearns tried to cover his tracks after Maddie's death. We have video evidence that shows Stephen Stearns discarding items in a dumpster in that apartment complex in Kissimmee at 735 on Monday, February 26. Detectives later recovered Madeline's backpack and her school issued laptop from that dumpster. At 819, we have evidence that shows Stephen Stearns returning to the complex and Madeline was visible in that vehicle. We believe she was already dead at that time. Former Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone says Stearns may have thought he could fool investigators. This is a perfect example of someone who probably thought I can get away with this. And unfortunately, everything is pointing at the fact that he has now been caught for the murder of this child. Kissimmee police say at this time they aren't releasing any further updates on the case. In Kissimmee, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.